Ocean X team returns from their first expedition investigating the mysterious object they discovered in the Baltic Sea. The expedition was supposed to provide answers but instead yielded yet more questions. It has also broadened the minds of those involved. Well, we have uh, experienced things that uh, I really couldn't imagine because I have been the team's biggest skeptic. I was kind of prepared of finding just a stone. For me, it has been a, a amazing experience, I must say. The team were completely dwarfed by the mysterious object, which is about 60 meters in diameter and lying almost 80 meters down on the bottom of the Baltic Sea. There are visible formations on top of the object, which are set at a 90 degree angle and look like passageways or walls as well as something that looks like it could be a staircase. The divers also found a hole about 25 centimeters in diameter, though it is not yet known where it leads. In addition, they found circular forms of small rocks that appear to have been placed like a pearl necklace. Geologists who follow the work haven't been able to explain what it is yet. Alongside the mystery, there were also many difficulties. We looked at the, 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 our dive computer and it said minus one degree. Uh, that's pretty cold for, for, for a dive and it should uh, really be impossible uh, to have that cold water because it actually turns into ice uh, at zero degrees. Uh, but that could be explained by, by uh, the movement of the water. Also, some strange phenomenon occurred. A main objective of the dive was to film the object, and yet the camera stopped working when they approached the object. Why isn't anything working, uh, anything electrical? Uh, and the satellite phone we have as well uh, stopped working when we were uh, above the object. Uh, and uh, when we got away for about 200 meters, it, it turned on again. And when we got back over the object, it uh, didn't work. So uh, that's kind of strange as well. Mr. Hogeborn says he has never experienced anything like this during his 20 years as a professional diver. Dennis Osbey of the Ocean X team is 100% sure after the first expedition that they have found something quite unusual. I'm 100% convinced and confident that we have found something that is very, very, very unique. Then, if it is a meteorite or an asteroid or a volcano, or a base from, say, a U-boat from the Cold War, which has been manufactured and placed there, yes. Or if it is a UFO, well, honestly, it has to be something. Lab results will be forthcoming and the second expedition is already planned to depart in two weeks. Ocean X team hope that a geologist specialist will join the next expedition. Cecilia Svensson, NTD News, Stockholm, Sweden.